Hi everyone, and thanks so much for being with me. This is my first video tutorial in a long line of tutorials, all to do with electronics. We're starting out with Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is so key in understanding um, electronics theory. It's basically the building block, if you like. So that's why I'm starting my first tutorial with this. Ohm's Law states that current is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. So, current which is measured in amps is directly proportional to voltage which is in volts inversely proportional to resistance, which is in ohms. It's nicely summed up by this triangle, V, I, R. So, voltage is current times resistance. Current is voltage divided by resistance. Resistance is voltage divided by current. Let's put this into practice. Here I've just repeated our Ohm's Law quick reference triangle and now I'll draw up a simple circuit comprising of a battery, negative down the bottom, positive up the top and let's make it 10 volts. The resistor, let's also make it 10 but 10k, so 10,000 ohms. How much current is flowing in this circuit? Well, current flows from negative through the resistor to positive. To find current, it's voltage divided by resistance. Since we know that there is 10 volts, the resistance is 10K. We can punch that into our calculator. The answer, 0 0.001 amps. Probably better to write it as 1 milliamp. Milli being one thousandth of an amp. Alright, well that works out okay. I stated before that current is inversely proportional to resistance and current is directly proportional to voltage. So let's try out the voltage one first. Again, same circuit, same resistor value. Let's now increase the voltage to 20 volts. We've gone from 10, doubled it to 20. Current should also increase. Current is voltage divided by resistance. Therefore current equals now 20 volts divided by our 10k or 10,000 ohms. Punch that into your calculator and you will get 0 0.002 amps. Again, we would write it as 2 milliamps. Well, that makes sense. We've increased the voltage, kept the resistance the same, and we've now got more current flowing in our circuit. I also said that current was inversely proportional to resistance. Again, same circuit one resistor, one power supply. Let's go back to 10 volts. We're using our original voltage, 10 volts, but now let's increase the resistor, 20k. We now have twice as much resistance in the circuit. It would make sense that the current would halve. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. We know there's 10 volts, and now we've got 20k, 20,000 ohms. Punch that into your calculator. We will get 0 0.0005 amps, or 0 0.0 excuse me, 0 0.5 milliamps. Probably best to express it as 500 microamps. 
So we've got 0 0.0005 amps. We could express it as half a milliamp. So we've gone from 1 milliamp to now half. Or we could write it as 500 microamps. Makes sense. So to summarize, current is directly proportional to voltage. It is inversely proportional to resistance. If voltage goes up, current will go up. If voltage goes down, current will go down. If resistance goes up, current will go down. And finally, if resistance goes down, current will go up. Thank you for watching, and remember, there's many more tutorials coming, and we're getting more advanced than this. You've been watching another Retro Brad video. Be sure to check out and subscribe to my channel for more electronic projects, hacks, how-to videos and tutorials. God bless.